over 500 Hindus threaten mass self-immolation over a comedy show. So this gets wild. On what? November 14th, a comedy club in Goa canceled controversial comedian Munwar Faruqi's sold-out show after over 500 Hindus threatened to set themselves on fire if he was allowed to perform. Faruqi became an international symbol of India's suppression of free expression earlier this year when he and four other artists were arrested for allegedly making, quote-unquote, indecent remarks against Hindu deities. Despite the police openly acknowledging that they had no evidence that Faruqi told such jokes, he spent 35 days in jail. This is my own commentary here, but this case, I believe, is motivated because of his Muslim background. After his release, extreme right-wing Hindu groups have continued to target Faruqi over his stand-up comedy, and numerous shows have been canceled after credible threats. Earlier this month, the Hindutva vigilante gang, Bajrang Dal, threatened to burn down a Mumbai venue if Faruqi continued his performance. While the militant Hindus attempt to stifle his domestic performances, their attacks have garnered an international audience for Faruqi. Okay, I don't appreciate the people in the live chat who are hoping that they follow through with this. That's not at all nice. I mean, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? Uh, yeah, some people are like, come okay, on, hell guys. No. What the? I mean, as uh, okay, so we're like, be, don't take, like, seriously, guys, like, these are p deluded people who don't deserve any of this. Come on, guys, don't say that. That's not, that's, that's I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they're not being serious, but still, it's not even, it's not even something to joke about. Um, yeah, yeah, Mia is like, because he's Muslim, yes, yeah, because he's Muslim. They're like, guys, they went after Shah Rukh Khan because he's Muslim, they're going after his kids because he's Muslim. If Shah Rukh Khan is not immune, who is immune? Like, if that guy, that guy is like a god, that guy is the, the god of India, is Shah Rukh Khan, and they're like, he's like, you're Muslim, we're going to go after you. Like, nobody's safe, no Muslim is safe if that, if that level of celebrity status in bollywood still makes hindus go after you like the people that are the most dear the most celebrated the most loved figures in india they're they're becoming a target because of because because of their muslim background nobody if you're a muslim in india you're not safe okay like not even a muslim if you have a muslim background if you were ever a muslim if you had if you said if you have sat down with a Muslim, like, like it's getting really ridiculous. This is Pakistani level oppression. Okay. This is Pakistani level sensitivity. Like the way that the Pakistanis treat Ahmadis, hen the Hindus in India, like a lot, again, the hashtag, not all, many Hindus in India, they're like, can we please compete with Pakistan? Can we please, like, we are, like, we, we're not alpha enough. Like, we need to be more oppressive every day until we are exactly like Pakistan. Only then we will be satisfied. Go on. Yeah, it's it's really ridiculous. So the comedy club um, called the LVC Comedy Club um, released this statement. Um, Goa, unfortunately, Munwar Faruqi's Goa show is canceled as over 500 people have threatened to set themselves on fire. Yep, that's not a joke. That's an actual conversation I had today along with signed documents. After talking to local police, there's not much that can be done to avoid an incident of this nature. So the show won't be happening. So literally these people, my understanding is that these, all these people like signed this document saying that we're going to set ourselves on fire if this show isn't canceled and they brought this to the police and then the police intervened and went to this comedy club and was like, you got, you can't do this. Like this is, they, they believed that this was credible enough. Um, what was so interesting to me is that I have a friend who actually went to go see one of, uh, Faruqi's comedy shows like a week before he was arrested. So she, she actually saw his stand up set before he was arrested. And she was like, he didn't talk about like Hinduism at all throughout his comedy special. He was actually mocking Islam. 
he was making jokes about Islam in his comedy special. He was talking wow. about horrible like marriage practices in Islam. And so I was saying to her, I was like, isn't it so ironic that in this fervor over the allegation that he said something insensitive or hurt the sentiments of Hindus in some way, that these extreme right-wing people actually shut down someone who is criticizing their quote-unquote enemy of Islam. I thought that was so ironic and very telling because that's also something that they're doing to, to us. It's like, mm. but we enemy. actually have yeah. like very present and obvious criticism of Hinduism, according right. to other people. By enemy of Islam, he, he, the, the enemy being Islam. That's that's what you mean. Yeah, in, yeah. in quotations. Um, yeah. I I just thought that was so telling, um, and there is the the whole situation surrounding him is just insane and what he went through in his court case um i it's it's very clear to me that he was targeted because of his background because of his name and um the other people who arrested alongside him have uh, unfortunately suffered like much worse fates than he did um i've a, a poor, apparently one of his comedian friends who uh he was arrested with like had because of the threats against him like had to completely leave comedy and just go back to like doing manual labor because it's just too risky too threatening and their reputations and names just got ruined um really tough situation um Re uh, you want to read this one what is this and um Hindu was Susanna is saying there are many successful muslim stand-up comedians like ahmad sharif but this guy had really mocked only hindu goddess in earlier shows hmm. that's not what the reports i mean are. Okay, reports I don't, are that okay, the he, son of a local bjp mla like overheard a conversation in which he alleges he was mocking hindu gods he was arrested before his comedy show even happened okay Originally. but here's the thing that's not that shouldn't be the defense so what i mean the fact that the fact that he even if he did his um insult hindu gods the fact that he's arrested for that is insane the fact that he's in jail for that is insane like it's it's a, he's a comedian like what the hell is happening to india like that's the discussion that we're having whether or not he did mock hindu gods or goddesses rather than um okay so here's the thing what happened to the people who were saying innocent to pull like in the live chat people were like when we were talking about the news of uh, some Hindus being arrested, okay? Like you look at them, they're not in the live chat saying- no, that news was, it was about a lawsuit of human trafficking. There was no arrests in that story. Yeah, but they're like, we can't report on that because innocent or proven guilty, even though we literally said that um, we will see if the charges go through. But in this situation, they're not screaming in the live chat, well, innocent or proven guilty. No, this man goes to jail because they're so biased. They're so tribal. If if somebody is even deemed by the community that this guy is against us, even though he hasn't committed any crime, they like look. They're not saying like, oh, this that same person in the live chat is not saying this person shouldn't have gone to jail. He's not saying like, look, this is this is a, an obvious overreaction. They're so tribal. They're so one sided, and it's so obvious. And also, you you moron, like look at this. The same person is saying, I said Shah Rukh Khan's son was innocent. I didn't say. Guy, I didn't say he was innocent or not innocent. His arrest was politically motivated was, against Shah Rukh Khan. It was, it, it got, there has been a crackdown on Bollywood's um, political um, power over, um, over people's opinions in India, especially the Muslim ones. This has been a part of a crackdown. Like, why are you putting words in my mouth? I've never said any of the things that you're saying. You're an idiot. Like, look how, uh, look how biased they are. They're changing what I'm saying. And they also never call out, the, like, this person, these sensitive and neutral people in the live chat, they never call out the things that are so obviously wrong. Like, are they going to call out this? Are they going to come out and say, oh, like, oh, obviously this is wrong. This man shouldn't have gone to jail, even if he did insult Hindu goddesses, gods and goddesses. This is not an offense. First of all, there was no evidence, but they put him in jail anyways. And obviously this shouldn't have been an offense. Obviously the people who are saying that they're going to self-immolate that's insane they shouldn't be doing that that's crazy they don't say this because they're just there to get offended every time we say something negative about hindutva 
they're you're completely tribal you have lost any form of objectivity like you are you are incapable of looking at things in an unbiased way this is your mind has been poisoned by hindus for propaganda go on susan i i just have to correct you you're conflating Shah Rukh Khan with his son who was arrested Aryan Khan I'm saying they go after okay what I'm saying is that the fact that they go after his son was politically motivated there are many reports that show that there are so many people have, that have reported on the fact that there has been a crackdown on Bollywood actors and actresses because of the perceived influence they have over people's opinion in India and the Hindutva and the RRS, RSS and the BJP see that as a threat, especially if they are Muslim. They are they are going after them. First of all, the the drug bust was not like like the the details of that is murky, so I'm not going to even comment on that here, right? But there is a crackdown on these people to show them to know their place, to show them that especially if the if they're Muslim, to know that they shouldn't be speaking out of place, to show them where the power is come. This has been heavily reported on. Okay, again, if it comes out and the, the counter narrative by Hindutva is correct, which I highly doubt. Okay, if they have proof that if proof that the counter narrative is correct, I will change my opinion so far the reports i've seen is that this is the push against bollywood and the influence that bollywood has on people's opinion that is the challenge because remember the, in india okay in india the the bjp has managed to completely almost completely take over the news okay when it goes so there's two They've types of out the news media there's two types of media in india okay the conservative one is the news outlets they're like a gazillion news outlets in india that are more most of them are very loyal to the hindutva and to the bjp okay the counter to that the only branch of media that the bjp and the conservatives and these national uh, these nationalists don't have a control over is the bollywood and bollywood is more liberal minded but bollywood is too scared of the bjp and the f power to go after them directly but they still have messages and views and ideas that are a lot more liberal than the hindutva and the bjp so the bjp does see them as a threat so they are attempting at intimidating the most celebrity and even the news media is trying to by the way you, sh you cannot trust the uh, news coming out of india telling you that these bollywood actresses or actors are corrupted or not because the news again is very conservative and is motivated into spreading fake news about bollywood actors and actresses because they are trying to make them less celebrated less um um of a figure that people follow because they are again they are intimidating their um the bjp and their power but yeah go ahead well, I made a bold claim earlier where I said that, because I want to take this back to Munwar Faruqi, um, where I said that this was all motivated by his Muslim identity. So uh, not even, I don't even know if he is a believing Muslim, his background, right? It's just obvious in his name. Um, so before he, remember, he spent 35 days in jail for something that the police admitted that they had no evidence of. While he was in jail, the Madhya Pradesh High Court twice rejected his bail pleas, saying, quote, such people must not be spared. The single judge bench from uh, Madhya Pradesh, um, Justice Rohit Arya, observed, quote, but why do you un take undue advantage of others' religious sentiments and emotions? What is wrong with your mindset? How do you do this for the purpose of your business? That makes it clear that it is very motivated on the fact that he isn't a Hindu. Saying, why would you do this other other's religious sentiments, aka not your own? You're in, in saying such people will not be spared. It's just like this language is very dicey. However, you know, me being skeptical, and I'm I, I can also see how such people that could be like, oh, that's just talking about comedians in general, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm, okay, sure. Um, you know, you literally can't take it, guys. The 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 Hindu the Hindu in India, they have taken sensitivity to a new level of in. This is insane. You you know how people make a joke by saying you can't you see you can't take a joke. These people literally can't take a joke, but to the point that they're willing to burn themselves. Okay, that's how far they're willing to take the idea of not being able to take a joke okay when we say you can't take a joke we're saying like why are you so butthurt why are you so sensitive i'm making a joke why are you so triggered by it but these people they did they, 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 it's not just that they 
are upset about it, they put you to jail for it and they want to self -em emulate for, for it. Like, this is like, who else in the goddamn planet is this sensitive? Like, is there any example? Like, you know, we, I make fun of Trumpists because they're extremely sensitive. I make fun of many, many Muslims because they're extremely sensitive. I make fun of woke people because they're extremely sensitive. They seem to be extremely sensitive. But none of these, none of these groups comes even close to how pathetically sensitive this Hindutva community has become in India. Nowhere on the planet ha anybody comes even remotely close to people that, that lose their mind over jokes and cartoons. Who is like this anywhere else? Nobody is like this to this level. Yeah, no, I agree. It's like a level of sens sensitivity that is shocking. Absolutely shocking. Mm -hmm. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.